Okay, question 18. You know, I look at the curve in general and I say, okay, I'm thinking cumulative frequency. The question actually says the cumulative frequency curve shows information about the times 80 swimmers time it takes to swim 50 meters so there's my 80 swimmers here so here's my 80 swimmers and here's the time it took them uh, use the graph to find an estimate for the median okay so the median is a measurement of time and then what I've got to do is find the midpoint from the top of the curve the top of the curve is at 80. That isn't always the case. Sometimes they show a scale that goes beyond the top of the curve. So be careful with that. The top of the curve is at 80. The midpoint of that is 40. So from 40, I'm going to draw a horizontal line with a ruler until it hits the curve. hits the curve there and from the point it hits the curve I'm going to draw a vertical line downwards and this value at the end here that's going to be my median and what we have to do is be really careful with the scale if they're going to trick you they'll trick you with the scale here drawing these lines will probably, it could, if it's, if it's a more difficult question, it could, if it's a more difficult scale and it's worth more marks, just drawing these lines could give you one of these marks. Okay, so let's have a look. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, so that's not enough, so it must go up in twos. Just check it. 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. Right, I know they go up in twos. So that's 62, 64, 66, 68. There's my answer, 68 seconds. Over the page now it says, a swimmer has to swim 50 metres in 60 seconds or less to qualify for the swimming team. The team captain says more than 25% of swimmers have qualified for the swimming team. Is the team captain right? And you will always have to use the cumulative frequency curve to find out a value that's going to help you here. So the first thing I need to know is from the curve how many swimmers did it in 60 seconds or less? So I have to go over to my curve for that. I'm going to find a time for 60 seconds and I'm going to use my ruler to draw a line accurately to go up to the curve and then where it crosses the curve I'm going to go across and it's actually in the middle of two lines What that tells me is all the people who are in here, all these people did a time that was smaller than 60 seconds. So this section here is connected to this section here. And all these people here did more than 60 seconds. So if I look at the scale... 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So there you go. I've got, I know it goes up in one, so there's 25, 26. So it's in between 27 and 28. And the exam mark scheme will allow you to use either of these values. So I know either 27 or 28 people actually swam the time in less than 60 seconds. So explain how you got your answer I'm going to say from the curve 27 or 28 people swam 50 meters in less than 60 seconds 
Okay, let's go back to what I've got for the captain says more than 25% qualified for the team. So, 25% of 80 is equal to 80 divided by 4, which is 20 people. The captain says more than 25% swimmers have qualified for the team. So 25% is 20 people. The curve says 27 or 28 people. So the captain is correct. It's a starred question, so I need to show an answer, a written answer with a sentence. So the captain is correct. 25% is 20 people, but 27 people actually qualified. Okay, for the last part, for these 80 swimmers, so this is important, it's these 80 swimmers, the smallest time was 28 seconds. The biggest time was 96 seconds. It says use the cumulative frequency graph. So I must use that. And the information above. So I must use that to draw a box plot. So a box plot looks like this. And I can get this value and this value and this value from the cumulative frequency curve. And I can get this value and this value from the information above. So the least time was 28. So check the scale. It's going to be the same here as it was along the cumulative frequency curve. So every square was worth 2. So that's 22, 24, 26, 28. Let's just check 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. So I know the smallest value is here at 28. I know that the greatest time is 96, so that's 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96 is here, so 96 is here, that's my biggest value, and now I've got to put a box in the middle and connect these two whiskers. The middle line in the box is the median, and I worked that out previously on this page over here. So I know the median is 68. So coming back to my box plot then, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68. So there's my median. What I need to do now is work out the lower quartile and the upper quartile, and I have to do that from my cumulative frequency curve. The lower quartile is going to be halfway between the median point and zero. So halfway between 40 and zero is 20. So I use a line from 20 to my curve and then vertically down to find this point here. Again, it's halfway through the square, so I'm going to be accurate. I know it goes 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 53. So I'm going to go 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 53. I'm going to draw that really accurately with a ruler. Because I want it to be the same. There will be a slight margin they'll give you, by the way, in the um, exam paper, in the mark scheme. Going back then, I need to find the upper quartile for the box. So I go across here. The upper quartile is halfway between... The, cumulative, the total cumulative frequency in the median point, so halfway between 40 and 80 is 60. So I'm going to draw a ruler across, an old line across to the curve, and from the point it hits the curve, be accurate and go down. And I know this one here. Uh, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76. So 
that going across here, 62, 64, 68, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76 here. So here's my box. And here's my whiskers. I will say that you do have to draw this accurately with the measurements you've used on your cumulative frequency curve. 